Hi guys, quite a while ago I've shared my Swiss meringue buttercream recipe and today I'm going to share my other favorite buttercream recipe. If I would have to choose, this is probably my favorite from the two uh, because of how delicious it is. It's also really great for covering cakes even though it might look like it's really soft, it's really smooth for covering cakes and it pipes perfectly like you will see later in the video even though it might feel really really soft. I don't think it needs any more praise. Let's just get started and you will see for yourself. For this recipe you want to start with the chocolate. So I have already chopped my chocolate and I have it in a heat proof um, jug. I'm gonna melt it in a microwave but you could also melt it in a water bath. For this recipe you really want to use a good quality chocolate because your buttercream will taste like the chocolate that you use. So use uh, the dark chocolate that you also like eating and then you will definitely like the taste of the buttercream as well. So let's start by melting the chocolate. So when melting the chocolate you don't want to uh, heat it until it's completely melted. You want to heat it until you have just a little pieces there and then because the mix is uh, really warm already so the chocolate is really warm at this point you just want to keep on mixing and um, just give it some time and those little pieces will melt in as well and if they don't then only then pop it in the um, microwave again or over the water bath and um, give it a little time again so you don't want to overheat the chocolate that's why you want to keep an eye on it and when you see there are only these kind of little pieces in there so it's uh, almost completely melted then um, just be careful and do shorter intervals of heating and then once your chocolate is looking like this so it's smooth it's completely melted you want to leave it aside so we want to give it a some time to uh, cool a little and that's why we want to start with the chocolate so this is ready just leave it aside and then while your chocolate is uh, chilling uh, you want to start with the eggs so I have the egg white here and the sugar it's already uh, started to combine so you cannot really see it but the sugar is also there and we want to heat it over a water bath until the mix reaches 72 degrees and you want to mix through the whole time so that uh, you won't have a scrambled eggs so while you're heating keep on mixing and heat it until 72 degrees And then once you've reached uh, 72 degrees you want to take it off the heat and um, place it on your standing mixer or start mixing with a hand mixer. You want to mix on medium high until the bowl feels um, cool to touch. So then once you touch the side of the bowl over here and it feels cool to touch, that means uh, it's cooled enough and this is how your mix should look like. So it's not really stiff peaks, but it's still stiffened a little bit. So it's not, um, yeah, like liquid like. It's not going to be the similar kind of meringue uh, that you get from making a regular Swiss meringue because uh, we have less sugar in it so it's gonna be more uh, soft at this point and now you want to keep your mixer on low and add in the butter little by little while mixing and the butter should be nice and soft at room temperature before you add it And then once you've added all of the butter you want to turn the mixer to high and beat it until it's nice and has a specific structure which I will show you once we get there. A 
I'm just gonna show you a close-up before we get to adding the chocolate so this is how it should look like it's nice and smooth and really pale so at this point it should be really white and really nice and smooth and see the structure that's when it's ready and you can start adding the chocolate the chocolate should also have cooled um, until now so you want to add the chocolate slowly while whisking on low And that's it, you just want to mix until everything is combined and then your buttercream is ready. And this is how your buttercream should look like. So it's really silky smooth. It's actually a very soft buttercream. Don't worry, it's really great anyway for uh, covering cakes, even though it's uh, really soft. So you just need to keep that in mind that it's soft when you're decorating a cake. And also it's great for piping, even though you might think that uh, it's not because it's so soft but as you see when I make um, when I draw something on it it really keeps the shape and once you refrigerate it it goes really hard because of the chocolate so it's really very versatile even though it might look really soft so don't worry about that it does really keep the shape and it tastes absolutely delicious I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I hope you will be trying it out. Like I said, it's my favorite buttercream recipe and uh, well, because I really love <laughs> chocolate, I think that's the reason. And also because it really tastes of the chocolate that you use for it. So like I said in the recipe, really use the dark chocolate that you enjoy eating. And uh, the percentage of cacao that you should be using is 70%. So keep that in mind when um, getting the chocolate for this recipe. Also, you can use this buttercream to cover cakes like I showed in the tutorial, or you can also use it for cupcakes. It's also great for that. If you enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this recipe, don't forget that thumbs up first part. And also, if you're new to my channel, then you can subscribe right now. And if you tap the bell, you won't miss any of my new videos. I will be making some new Cake Basics videos soon. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye until next time.